it's so it's here it's everyone. Welcome to a quick update. So I actually just wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, this will be quick, but it's actually pretty important. Uh, there's some interesting, kind of scary things that happened recently uh, that I wanted to share with you. Okay, the first thing on my list is actually the scary thing. I mean, it's scary, but it's good. Uh, so I actually just recently took Mia, my cat, as you probably all know, the black cat that, uh, that I've had first. <laughs> I'm choking up already. <laughs> that I've had for six years now. Um, I took her to the vet the other day. Uh, by the time you see this, probably like a day or two ago. And uh, it was actually just to get her spayed. Uh, I know I should have got her spayed uh, way sooner, but where I used to live in Ontario, it was really, really expensive up there. Didn't have the money for it at the time. So instead I got my cat Max fix, because boy cats are a lot cheaper, a lot simpler. Anyway, but uh, so I finally I got me a fix because if you don't get female cats uh, spayed, sorry, if you don't get them spayed, uh, there's like a 90 some percent chance. Go ahead, Google 90 some percent chance for them to get something called like pyrometra, which is like an infection in the uterus. Um, and they'll like not live anywhere near their full life. And like if they get it, it's really it's it's a fatal and it has to be like the surgery has to happen quick. It has to happen right away or else they won't make it anyway. So the scary part is I took Mia to the vet to get spayed um, and, you know, they I dropped her off. They said, you know, sh should be OK. I go, I get a phone call. I'm, at, I'm eating uh, breakfast at Tim Hortons because uh, it, it was going to take like an hour, an hour. So I was like, I, let me just go grab a bite to eat while I'm waiting. And I get a phone call and the phone call is from the vet, of course. And I answer the phone call and they're like, hey, we just want to let you know that Mia actually has pyro, either pyrometra, which they're, which we're pretty sure it is that, or an infection. And my heart for a second, I was like, oh my God. Like I felt sick to my stomach as I was eating food and I almost just wanted to throw it up because I had such that, that bad feeling. Um, and it turned out she did have pyrometra. Um, but anyway, long story short, I guess to this is she's okay. Maybe I'll put this clip at the start, but look. <laughs> they had this shaver, of course. I'll, I'll try to actually record a video on my phone of her. I do have a video on my phone of her stumbling around when she, when she was still on the, like after the surgery, when she was still kind of <laughs> high on drugs. Um, she's fine. Oh my God. She is such a tough cat though, because it was a big surgery. And they say that cats, if they get that, they don't even last like two months. Mia has had that apparently for like a year. Um, and she just never showed signs like she always just acted normal uh, And then after the surgery when she was drugged up, I, I felt so bad when they brought her out She was still completely under um, And so she looked dead. I kid you not It was the saddest thing for me to ever see because it was just her like face was in the kennel um, Her paw like up like like bro like in a most uncomfortable spot and then they're like yo they're like oh she's doing f she's doing okay she's just um she's blinking and then they lift, lift it up and like poked her nose to show that she's like blinking and not dead um but anyway i was like oh think because like when, when they brought her i was like what the you know um anyway literally on the car ride home they're oh they said uh they said that you know oh give her you know two to three days for her to come around and be back normal car ride home she's like she wakes up and then she's like you know, little groggy still, but then like 20 minutes later, she's like trying to get out of the cage. Then it's like, no, Mia, <laughs> just lay down. And then I, uh, I bring her home and I let her out of the cage and she's like starting to walk around, but that's the, I'll put the footage here where she's like stumbling, uh, cause she's like fine. She's alert and everything, but she was still kind of high up high on drugs and she was just like sleeping and laying down for so long. Um, anyway, yeah. Long story short though. Uh, yeah, she's fine. Thank you. Gosh, but the thing is with that though is it was a stressful day because a when I got the news I was like, please tell me they can do something uh, B it ended up ended up costing twice as much uh, as it would as it originally was going to now I'm kind of behind on some stuff. But that's fine. I'll, I'm, I'll be fine. But um, I, like I said, they they actually said they're like, oh, do you want to uh, do you still want us to go through with it? Uh, uh, because oh, oh, no, sorry. When I got there, they're like, oh, we just asked you if you wanted to. Uh, we had to make sure that you wanted to go through because some people said that it's just it, it's just easier. Just put them down. I'm like, I'm like, no, Mia's only six years old. She's not that old. I'm like, no way in heck would I ever be like, no, no. 
I love that cat to death. So both of my cats. Anyway, so she's fine. She's eating. She was eating that same day. And apparently they're like, oh, it might take her 24 hours to want to e even want to eat. No, she's fine. She's like the toughest cat I've ever. It surprised me so much how like much of a uh, trooper she was because she's so little too. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that, that's the main part of this update. The, the Mia thing, because it was kind of, you know, an interesting uh a series of events to say the least but uh the next few things i want to talk about are just quick the, the next thing i just want to mention is if you haven't seen it yet we started remothered tormented fathers actually or not not tormented fathers remothered broken porcelain which is the second game uh just came out recently uh i'm actually waiting for it to update because i was going to record part two of that but instead i'm recording this vlog while it's updating Hope, hoping that it's gonna be done by time uh, no it's not even close my internet is so trash lately i got a call uh, because I don't know what's going on. I tried everything, but anyway, the next thing I wanted to say, oh, check out, oh, just check out Remothered, please. It's a good series. I mean, it's only part one up so far, but I can tell, tell already it's going to be good. It'll be even better if you're watching it. <laughs> but anyway, um, the, the second thing is I actually set up my VR stuff again. So I'm going to start to have VR videos because that's so much fun. I forgot how much fun VR was because I haven't like touched it in like a, probably like six to eight months. Anyway, I just recently set up and started playing. I was like, oh my God, this is so much fun. So I can't wait to record more VR videos for you guys and girls because I really, really, really am trying to get back in the swing of things. Like I said, over the winter time, I plan on kind of get back into this uploading videos consistently. Um, like I said, November apparently is when gooder, gooder, gooder internet is, <laughs> is apparently when better internet is going to uh, be available. But uh, that's all hearsay. We'll see. Apparently it's supposed to be November. I'm not holding my breath. If I did, I'd probably die. But anyway, the next thing I just wanted to say, and pretty much the last thing is collabs. I have a couple of collabs in the books uh, and I'll tell you right now, because you've been asking for them, Among Us and Phasmophobia. Are, yes, both of those games will be coming to the channel. I'm, uh, I've already been in talks with some of my friends to collab, uh, make collab videos. So excited, because that's another thing I wanted to do more of is collabs. And I'm finally going to get around to doing that. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I'm doing good. Like I said, it's a load off my back. It's a huge relief just knowing that Mia's good and everything. Like I said, that was stressing me out. But yeah, I was, like I said, back nose to the grindstone. Going to record more Remothered. Going to record more, like I said, VR videos. Uh, I had some other... I, I started another series, but then Remothered came out and that's being on hold. But I already recorded part one of that. So I have some one-off stuff in the works. Bunch of things planned. Just thank you so much everyone who supports me every day, whether it be liking, commenting, subscribing, donations, sending me games, uh, channel memberships, every just watching, it, it means a lot. Especially because some of you have been with me for so long, it's insane to think about. Like that you like, oh I was like 13 when I was watching you, now, I'm, and now I'm like 20, like, or no. Yeah, yeah, seven years, because I started in 2013, so there's, oh, wow. Anyway, hope you have a great day. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, which is probably going to be remothered. Bye.